be my first ever cheat game. Here's Book Knight. Booker oh. defending. To the inside. Here's McDaniels. Oh, nice dish, and the layup goes down. Oh. This playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. McConnell passes to Booker. Mm. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Oubre. Oh, this is Starting vertical. Putting on a show. Shaming the defense. At a high scoring first quarter, both teams really fell it. And one of the most versatile offensive players in the league. Uh, I really like the step back move. Grant, that step back jumper, one of the most important shots today. It really is. And for players like Gordon that are a live threat off the dribble, it's even more effective. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Yeah, and a moment now to quickly take yeah. a look at the offensive approach for Indiana. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in the early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. Yeah. Kelly Oubre out there with Jalen McDaniels. Then it's Miles Bridges. Then it's Booknight. And it's Smith in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. McConnell passes to Booker. Into the lane. Second chance effort. And he lays it in. Booker's got five. Look at here now at MP. He spent only a year in college, but has a lot of upside to his game. NBA watching him in college. MP is ready for the NBA. Might take an adjustment period, but the talent is definitely there. Here's Book Knight. Pass to Smith. Shot clock at six. Another shot. Now here's Ubre. I got Smith. I got Smith, boys. I got Smith. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And you know, Kelly Ubre, a name that kind of flew under the radar. Bullshit. Offensive bullshit on Kelly Oubre. Offensive bullshit right there. But still, he was looking for a day to hit the agency. He took a short deal with the Hornets to re-up his value. Long three and D type. Players like Oubre, they are in high demand. Plumley's checked in for McDaniels. Pass to Booker. Put to some pick and rolls. And he's going for the oop here. Hammers the lob through. What? A beautiful setup on the alley oop. Great catch, great flush. And here's Smith. Oh. Oh. And we're about two minutes okay. into the second quarter here. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And Indiana called for the foul. Smith. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Well, Gish has made a lot of stops along his way in his NBA career, but it's a credit to his fortitude that he continues to work. Oh, yeah. Important. Oh, yeah. And the Hornets oh. making a change here. Hayward's checked yeah. in. Yeah. Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Demonis Sabonis comes in for Brissett. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Last season, the Charlotte Hornets finishing with their best record in the last five seasons. With the addition of LaMelo Ball, this team finally has some talent to build around, playing a switching defense and going zone, the most in the NBA. Guys? Oh, fun to watch. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. Hook Knight can't get it to go. For Indiana, they've gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Outside Booker from deep three-point range. They get the rebound. Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. Gotta love him. Outside Oubre. Knocks down the triple. Oubre's got five points in the quarter. So he took time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity.
opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of And I'm out. It's a tie game in Charlotte. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fair. And so it's the Pacers who come out on top here. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Ali LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game, and we'll see you next time.